Good evening, everyone. A couple of UP high school hockey teams getting in games before the Thanksgiving break. Let's go to Lakeview Arena in Marquette, where Doug Garrow and his Redmen were taking on the Houghton Gremlins. Second period, 2-0 Gremlins. Puck wanders into the Marquette offensive zone, and Chris Amundsen is going to tee it up, but Javon Wiedela is there to make the save for the orange and black. A short time later, Corey Markham's team would make some noise. Reed Pietela to Jed Callio. He's going to go low on the glove side, and that gave Houghton a 3-0 lead at 435 of the second period. A little while later, about a little less than five minutes, Spencer Donnelly, Eric Walt, Walter back to Donnelly, and he puts that one home. Nothing Johnny Beckman can do about that. That made it 4 nothing, and Houghton went on to win by the mercy rule, 8 to nothing. Also on the hockey scoreboard, it was Jeffers over Lance, 6-3. Both high school football finals involving Upper Peninsula teams have cases of revenge. Ishpeming will try to prevent Detroit Loyola from getting revenge in Division 7. In Division 5, Menominee is looking to turn around the semifinal loss last year to Grand Rapids West Catholic. Menominee played one of the most dominant first halves in Upper Peninsula football history Saturday in its 59-28 semifinal win over the Eagles of Muskegon Oak Ridge. Devin Harris scored a couple of touchdowns in the game, one on a pass and another on a run, and then he'd get another pass here as he would just be across the goal line. In fact, Menominee is just so dominant, I don't have time to show all the great offensive plays, even if I had about five or six sports casts in this one. Aaron Forsberg with an interception, that led to another touchdown. But it was a year ago last weekend that the Maroons dropped a 20-17 decision to West Catholic, and Menominee definitely wanted the Falcons back on the postseason schedule, and they get them Saturday. Our kids had some bad memories last year playing West Catholic here, losing by a field goal. And, uh, you know, without a doubt, we want to get out down to Ford Field and play well. It's been our desire uh, all offseason to get this, and now we finally got the chance to do it. It's a really great feeling. I wanted to play them all year. Feeling after losing to them last year, I don't want everyone to feel that again. West Catholic lost to Muskegon Oak Ridge 31-25 to start the season, but that nah, doesn't mean anything now. Kickoff Saturday at Ford Field is set for 4.30 Eastern, 3.30 Central Time, and you can see the game on Fox Sports Detroit. Upper Peninsula does very well in the Associated Press Football All-State team for Division 7 and 8. Ishpeming's great quarterback Alex Brionis is on the first team, along with Forest Park running back Lee Graff. Lineman Brad Guffs, the son of North Dickinson, linebacker Eric Preste of North Central, and defensive back Cage Kresge of St. Ignis. Other honors awarded, special mention for Andrew Peterson of West Iron County, also kicker Ryan LaBurge of Lance, an honorable mention to Tyler Snyder of St. Ignis, Adam Prisk of Ishpeming, Jake Quayle of Ishpeming, and Andy Rodolfi of West Iron County. Quickly, Michigan Tech men's basketball defeats Bemidji State 81-74. Ben Stelzer, 29 points. Austin Armga had 23. Gogebic Community College wins by three on the women's side, but loses by four on the men's side. And it was Michigan State over Temple, 74-70. And don't forget, all kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. All right, Western Michigan out of it. Yeah, they're 1-10. They're very out of it. Yeah, all the way. All right, yeah. thanks a lot, Mike.